go in the second semi-final. Madden and Wren. It favours Madden. He gets it down. Bickley upended. McKay coming through strongly. Bickley will get the free kick. What a season he's had. Mark Bickley alongside the centre circle. Probing kick down towards centre half forward. Smart props in front. Hannah knocks away. Lip tack. One of the stars in recent weeks. Pulls it back too far. It bounces out of bounds in the left full forward pocket. Matthew Liptak. Actually, Dennis, that's also a very good move with Hannah, I think, going to centre-half back. He has the pace and the agility to go with Nigel Smart. Graham Corns. Madden in front. Sexton from the side. Williams couldn't control it. Shows courage to dive in after it. And the whistle. Bounce. Left full forward pocket for the Crows. Greg Williams nursed through the week, doing gym work and swimming. He didn't train once. And he's just going to get to the end of the season with that knee. Cleared out of the pack and bounces out of bounds. David Parkin and Colin Kinnear. Interchange for the Adelaide Crows, David Brown and Sean Tasker. Boundary throw in, half forward for the Crows. Palm down by Madden to Williams. He gets clear on the left boot. The kick only to half back flank. Tregenza charges at it. Diulio tries to palm him off. Lost control of the football, but the whistle's gone, and it's going to be an Adelaide free kick to come back to McDermott. Yeah, it's a free there against, I think it may be going to Tregenza, Tregenza. through, because Rowan Welsh, when he was about to be tackled, fended off with a uh, palm to the face. Inside the 50. Oh, oh uncontested. Bone should have taken the mark, but snaps for goal anyway. In the goal square, a big chance. Whitney gets the first goal. Well, he was a surprise last week, kick three, and he's on the scoreboard already. Yes, he did a pretty good job last week. In fact, he kicked those three goals in the second half when goals were very tight and hard to come by for the Adelaide Crows. And they played in the forward pocket, spent some time on Gary Ayres. There he was appealing for the free kick. He got the fortunate bounce there, spilt back to him, and Stewie Wigney, the former Footscray and Sydney Swans player, putting that one through on the left boot. The old bounce of the ball, eh, on its point. Back to Wigney. Adelaide lead, Wren gets it down, Jarman out of the middle towards half forward, Ratton got a hand to it, Liptak leads back in the race though, Hannah in close attendance, play on's the call, it's paddled down towards the pocket, Silvani goes off the ground, taken by Anderson right on the 50, Anderson long kick, a wayward one, out of bounds on the full, in the right full forward pocket. Bring Anderson. Chris Dew. Sends play back towards half-back. In front, Wren. Fell at his feet. Wiedemann's got it. Charges out of the pack. Miscues initially. Now fumbles. He's in trouble. Goes to ground. Taken high. Yes, yeah, good decision, Dennis. No doubt about that. Bit lucky. He did fumble. And the hand pass wasn't good, but... No, I think he should have got it to the boot immediately. He had it in the first instance. But we see the, sec the first tackle, the second tackle. No doubt about that. It was a high tackle. Wiedemann from 60 metres out. Very high kick. He's kicked it a long way. He's just missed. But the adrenaline is surging. If that kick's anything to go by, he's kicked it about 70 metres. Yes, breeze with him, but it's not a gale. A breeze only. Steve Silvani looking for his options to kick in. Bradley offering a lead towards the outer side. They're pretty well covered there, Drew, haven't they, the Adelaide? Using the zone defence. Sexton away from him. Sexton waited rather than approaching the ball and Bone got it out of bounds. He's trying to see. I think Tony McGuinness has been given the job on Greg Williams and trying to stick with him but Matthew Hogg's been given the job on uh, Tony McGuinness. So McGuinness really with two opponents at the moment. We'll see how that fares. Hogg gets Jarman. Trigenza a high ball short of the square. Bounces on the point again. McKay a South Australian against South Australians. He's kicked to the 50. Tough in there. Tregenza's been prominent. Just gets the hand pass away. Wiedemann has to wait. Does well. Oh. It's taken high again. Oh. oh! And the umpire says, give it to me, I'll ball it up. He may have been on the wrong side of it. The it umpire. was, yeah. <laughs> because it was definitely high. And he saw it. <laughs> Here it is again. Fraser Brown. Uh, have a look at that. How can you not award a free kick for that? Well, sleeper hole. Williams dives on top of it. Held to him, says the umpire. Ball up. Chris McDermott picking up Craig Bradley. Another tagging job. 
Madden. Props in front. Slaps it towards the boundary line. Tregenza, though. Gained about 15 metres. McGuinness is in there. Claimed by Hogg. Williams again. Slung to the ground by Wiedemann. Oh. And the umpire is going to award a free kick to Greg Williams. He's good at those. Greg Williams in close quarters. And certainly lets the umpire have a good look at it. Sexton up the ground from half-back. A runner alongside. That's Alvin. He ignores that and goes for distance. Wide kick towards the wing. Heber's in front. Rashudo got a fist on it. It fell forward. Tregenz has been everywhere. Rashudo runs on alongside the centre circle. Kicks it down towards half-foot. Back goes Big Bone. Got a hand to it. This is Williams. Good evasion. He's so clever. Hogg. Right half-back. Towards the wing, ill-directed kick. The Crows lead in all directions. And the mark is taken by Rashudo, the only teenager on this ground this afternoon. McDermott down towards half forward. Big pack at the fall of the ball. Jarman roves the pack, aided by a good shepherd from Wiedem. And it was well played in there, though, by McKay. Free Although he initially. did get the free kick away. Free kick initially, I think it was a low tackle on, on Wiedemann. He was legged. Second free kick already, and that's across the ground. It's as far from goal as he was when he kicked it. Christou goes off the ground, up towards centre wing. McGuinness and Anderson leading the race. They almost contest between each other. McGuinness takes it. The kick towards the 50. Bones had a couple of chances. That was Whitney underneath it. Good mark taken by Milhanna. Carlton struggling. Haven't had it forward of the centre of the ground yet. Close to the boundary line. Williams. Is that a mark? There's a push out. Free kick to McGuinness. I'm not, I'm not sure if they've sorted themselves out there or not, because Hogg was definitely tagging Tony McGuinness. We have a look at this in replay. Yeah, definitely pushing out there by Greg Williams. His kick up towards centre-half forward. Madden backing into the pack. An excellent mark by Big Harry Madden. Now it comes out to Silvani. Up towards centre wing. Spalding works to the front, can't take the mark but gets the crumbs, goes off the left boot, goes very wide, Anderson leads the race here, McDermott doing the shepherding for him, Anderson needed a good shepherd too, his kick with no great penetration, it bounces in a nest of crows though, Tregenza the hand pass to Jarman, Jarman gets free, spears the pass low to full forward, Wigney again, but Chris do this time, in front, takes the mark. Crows have started well though, the ball goes to the other side, this is Scholl, if we go back to round 12, Carlton got the fast start and won the game big, six goals to one in the opening term, it doesn't look like that will happen this afternoon, the Blues rarely forward, this is Bickley to Anderson, hurried kick, they're winning right across the centre Adelaide at the present time, Madden gives it away, Wren's got it, 70 metres out, high kick, Wigney and Christo, Christo timely fist, concedes a behind. Well, I think that situation has sorted itself out. Matthew Hogg now picking up Jarman. John Dorotich looking on. Interested spectator. I think he may have played possibly his last game with Carlton Seniors with, of course, the trimming of the list next year. So score a point to Corns at the moment. Silvani boots in. Good kick too. Alvin takes the mark. One of six Carlton players to have played in every game this season. Breaks away, boots it down towards half forward. Big leap from behind. He needed to punch it, Fisker. He did. Tregenza lays it off. This is McDermott. McDermott inside the 50. In front, Modra. Roving the pack, Wiedemann. He's been everywhere so far on the forward line. McKay gets him. This is Bickley. Bickley runs to 50. Goes home. He's missed to the near side. And behind. Adelaide increased their lead. And if you think we've called Tregenza plenty of times, we have seven possessions already oh. in the opening nine minutes of the game. Gleeson to Sexton. His kick up towards half-back, looking for Madden. Yes, good mark. Nothing Lee could do about that from behind. Away to Brown. Kick by Brown. Holding up a little bit, just forward of centre wing. Huge climb by Rusciuto and a knock away by the teenager who was playing Teal Cup just last year and the ball goes out of bounds. A very good player, Mark Rusciuto, playing on the half-back flank. And of course, a nomination for the Norwich Rising Star Award. Given a big task last week on Tony Hall. He did pretty well in his first AFL final. In the back to Alvin. And he gets the free kick. And this will see Carlton up towards half-forward for the first time in the game. They haven't looked like it yet. So, uh, Steve Kernahan hasn't been near the ball.
kick by Alvin to centre half forward. Over spalling it goes. Oh. Maynard, a one-hander. Oh, he's a good player, Rodney Maynard. What a terrific mark. They're in trouble now, but they'll work it out. Visca got it across to McGuinness. McGuinness from half back. Oh, clever kick. Surrounded Wiedemann, but the ball was delivered perfectly. Tregenza again. He's a light. He's singeing the grass as he runs to the middle. Ooh. Kicks inside the 50. Where's Modra? Under the ball. Hannah again. Very resolute in defence at the present time. Williams runs to space. Has it at right half back in the bright sunshine at Waverley. The Premier's looking, well, the Premiership favourite's looking like a rusty machine at the moment. Williams across the ground. Heaver. One of the stories of the season. Chris Do runs to the wing. Still he goes. Kicks towards centre half foot. Oh, clever kick. Bradley, the former South Australian. 70 metres from goal. Alvin's off the ground. Madden wants it long. Bradley hangs on too long, but still a man on short to Ulio. One hander. Well, Tommy Alvin's off because he was a man with the job on Simon Tregenza. Yes. Well, he's just been made redundant. And there's that mark, one handed mark by Ron Diulio, the former VFA player. And they need him firing, I think, Carlton, because he's one player with a lot of pace on that forward line. At 21, Carlton's youngest player this afternoon, Ron Diulio, will kick from just inside the 50. Has it got the carry? Not quite. Madden's in front. Big fist away. Bradley slips. It cost him dearly. Ball runs free. Maynard runs onto it now. His hand pass into McDermott is brilliant. His hand pass for Shuto goes crash and will take a free kick. Further afield, I think. A relay transferred free kick there to Mark Rusciuto. The whistle had gone. Adelaide, a very impressive start. They lead 1-3 to nothing. The punch comes to the centre circle. Overrun by Athorn, who's gone straight on to Tregenza. Williams gets the hand pass to Brown. He's kicked inside the 50. Wren comes from behind. Gleeson. Out very wide. Julio gets rid of an opponent. Gleeson's kicked to Madden. Madden marks just inside the boundary line in the forward pocket. Well, he can run fast, but he has to, can't he, Justin Madden? Had a stretch to get to that one. And, of course, favoured on this side of the ground being a left footer. Uh, pretty tight angle, though, for Justin. He's not a prolific goal scorer for this Carlton side. In fact, big Justin has kicked only 11 goals for the season. Now, what's he going to try here? The famous banana. Kick straight through it. And straight across the face of goal. Off the hands. No, out of bounds on the full, says the boundary umpire. And that's where most of the Adelaide fans are. They haven't seen much of the action. All the play's been up on Adelaide's forward line, other end of the ground. I think they're very happy about that. This guy goes short. This is Wren. Up towards right half back. Sean Wren. Hunks the boundary with the kick. Spalding from behind, knocks it away from Anderson. Here's Bradley, the will of the West. Gets the hand pass away to Brown. Brown right on the 50. Goes down towards full forward. It bounces through for a behind. Some indecision there from Brown. I'm not sure he was kicking at goal, but he finished up scoring. Lee, the umpire, was still waving the flags. Lee goes through the motions again and finds Rusciuto. The defensive side of left half back. Very impressive youngster. Rusciuto goes towards the wing. Bone worked out of it too easily. Well done by Sexton. McKay, another former South Australian, storms forward of the wing. High kick. Now Kernahan battling down there. Pittman knocks it away. Taken by McDermott. The tackle appeared high. And he'll get the free kick. Now... Kernahan was after the ball, and the ball was pretty high, up near the shoulder. I'm not sure he didn't make contact initially with the ball, but the umpire may have thought... Well, the umpire thought he got him by the shoulder. It was touch and go, that one. McDermott out of defence towards the wing. McKay in front juggles it. He's paid the mark. Uh, actually, uh, Dennis, it's not a bad move with Pittman on Steve Kernahan, with Pittman's height, 198 centimetres, Pittman against Kernahan, 196 centimetres. Kick by Spaulding, big leap by Maynard, but no mark. McDermott the hand pass away, and the kick goes along the boundary line, kept in by Spaulding, 
Good hand pass. Heaver whips it off to McKay. McKay goes long towards goal. It comes back. And Bradley almost marks, but it's through for a behind. Calvin are getting back into this game now, though. Well, the one thing they can take uh, solace from is the fact they trail by just seven points and Adelaide have only kicked a goal for all their efforts. Quite right. McDermott to kick it in. Beautiful afternoon here at Waverley. Ball comes out towards half-back. Now the Crows, a chance to advance from here. Three of them around the ball. Well played again by McKay. He beat three of them. McGuinness initially had the run of it. Well played, McKay. Williams feeds it out wide. McKay will get the free kick. Advantage won't be paid. Hawthorne wants to kick it on. In fact, he does, but the ball will come back. Well, that was terrific there. Yes, by Andrew McKay. Almost, I would think, the recruit of the year, Andrew McKay. And what a, year a wonderful he had. season, hasn't he, with Carlton? Find yeah. the $10,000 early in the season. He's played every game, 21 games so far, 22nd today for Carlton. Blues must have known they had something. Runner up to Buckley in the McGarry medal. Centering kick. They come from all directions. Anderson could have almost taken the mark. Did well in a tight situation. Boots it through centre. Hannah's doing very nicely on smart at the present time. I like that matchup, Dennis. Well, I do like that matchup with Hannah on uh, Smart. This is Scholl on the outer side. Over the top, Christo. Howl it bounce awkwardly. Tregenza worries him out of it. Tregenza goes to ground. Carlton, as you can see, there in number. McGuinness wide of the pack. Off the boot. Bad luck there. Williams trying to trap that ball with the foot. And directed to his own advantage, popped it over the boundary line. Carlton bench. Alvin paying the price of Tregenza getting early kicks. Here's McGuinness from half-back. Good kick on the wind. Not a strong breeze. Sexton up in front. Couldn't hang on. Still he battles after it. Ratton comes in. Christou's got it now. Kick by Christou to half-forward. Williams the only hope for Carlton. Wren charges over the top. Maynard blocks it in with Spalding. And we'll have a ball up in between wing and half-forward. Just at the moment, a couple of the Adelaide forwards not leading for the ball. One bone at centre half forward. Or across that half forward line. And Wigney in the forward pocket, both trying to use body on body and coming up second on most occasions. Madden tries to palm down. Wren copped an elbow there too. That hurt him. McDermott slow to get up. And Madden slow to get up. Mind you, when he stands up, he's got a long way to go. Wren, the youngster. Madden, the veteran. Neither of them. Gleeson won the tap. To Bradley, a centering kick. Dive at full stretch, doesn't come off. Scholl gets the hand pass to Heaver. One out is Kernahan. Nothing Pittman could do that time. And here is the potential star for Carlton getting his first decisive touch. Yeah, what a champion Steve Kernahan's been since he's been at Carlton. A leading goal kicker every season since he's been there. He took over as Carlton captain in his second season. That was 1987. And there he is getting away from Pittman there to take that comfortable chess mark. Kicked four goals in the first quarter under lights last week. Six for the game. Kernahan, 40 metres out, has goal. On the Seven Sports scoreboard, Carlton trail by a point, but they've dominated the last 10 minutes. This is Gleeson, smothered off the boot, Lee on his knees, down towards half forward goes the hand pass. Anderson runs onto the loose ball, pulls it back inside the 50. Chance for Modra, left it behind. Christo soccers it to his own advantage. Away he comes, kicks it around the outer side. Carlton there in number. McKay, Bradley's on the assist. Jarman will need to go. He works hard, Jarman, but weight of numbers tell the story. Bradley, over the top, sweeping hand pass. Gleeson, one of the stars last week, could have been taken high and again pushed in the back. He'll get the free kick. A case for 50. Silvani injured in that last exchange on the forward line for the Crows. I think Modra gave him a backhander unintentionally. Maynard goes up. Spalding's not happy. Well, we don't like to see that, Earl. If things don't work out, it's no use abusing your teammates. Maynard's got the ball. 
kick back towards the wing. Burns in front this time. That's better. Knocked away by Sexton. Taken by Gleeson. Coming through strongly, Lee. What a terrific season he's had. Boots it down towards half forward. So the Crows attack yet again. Lip tack in a foot race with Ratten. Ratten played it very well. Cleared a path for Silvani. Silvani gave it across to Hannah. Hannah comes away with dash to Ratten. On the burst up from the back pocket, it's Christo. He's got pace, this young boy. Kicked by Christo to half forward. Spalling at the back. Maynard giving him a lot of trouble. Julio lost control of it. Heaver goes to ground. Gets the hand pass across the ground to Bradley. Too high. Whistle's gone. Free kick to Heaver. Uh, really, Adelaide having a lot of problems around half forward. Nigel Smart has not had a touch yet. Uh, Randall Bone not doing much. And Wigney in the forward pocket. Very quiet. Kernahan on the lead. Takes the mark. But a fancy too far out to score. Looks to pop off a short pass to the pocket. It's come unstuck this time. Visca. And the ball over the boundary line, and we'll have a throw in. Bad option, that one, I think, from uh, the Carlton skipper, Steve Kernahan. Well, the Crows certainly dominated the first 10 minutes, but Carlton have had the better of the next 10. And the score is 1 3 to 1 2. Adelaide just in front. It comes down to McGuinness. He clears the area for Adelaide. Push out, a Shepherd, and it's a Carlton free kick to McKay. He wasn't sure it was his. Kernahan's a long way from goal, 70 metres out. Steers the pass short for Madden. Well, Big Harry's going to have his second shot for goal. A good 50 metres out, though. Yes, I think the distance may test uh, Big Justin. Got a good idea of the breeze here, though, with Madden having this shot from maybe just inside the 50. Well, Kernahan really didn't get back to the goal square after he offered that previous lead. There's no good him getting kicked 70 metres out, surely. Kick by Madden, holds up. Spalding behind, Wren in front. Bradley trying to paddle the ball out for a teammate, but it's taken over the boundary line by the youngster, Rusciuto. Well, the sign's not good at the present time for the Crows. This game has turned considerably. The players, they need to deny possessions. They're getting touches. Bradley, Williams, Kernahan. The longer you keep them out of the game, the better it is. Now the ball across half forward, coming through strongly down there was Wiedemann. Williams did brilliantly to Athorn, smothered off the boot well. It ricochets outside the 50, a throw there against McKay. Now pushing the back against McKay. Now that was a brilliant smother by Pickley. Across it comes to Brown, 55 metres out. Kerner hands the target and why not? It comes forward of the pack. McDermott bumped in the back, no free kick. He played it well. Kicks to the outer side. They can make something of this. Wiedemann has to wait. Runners all around. He feeds it back to Anderson. Tregenza runs on. Tregenza's got it now. Liptak is on. He needs to find him. He spots him down the ground now. Liptak can take it and go. Liptak runs to just outside 50. Pulls it back intended for Wigney. And Wigney's taken the mark. That's better. Wigney must get in front of Angelo Christou. The domino theory around the outer side. One caught out and suddenly it fell into place for the Crows. Yes, Tregenza had has had a big impact on this match. Here we see spilling nicely there for Liptak. And the kick into the forward line. This time the forward's in front, not trying to use the body. Whitney going in his second, and he's got it. Bones off the ground, Whitney's kicked two. Well, Whitney has been run off a couple of times by Tristu as we see Tasker onto the ground to play on Sexton. Tregenza playing on the grandstand side. He is covering a lot of ground there, Simon Tregenza. He played on very quickly there. A Ratten was caught out because he had to go in and attack the ball and left his opponent free. And that allowed him plenty of space to pass that to Whitney. Randall Bone, who was a late inclusion, Played the first 24 minutes, but has gone to the bench, replaced by Tasker. Bounce in the centre. Knocked down by Madden to Bradley. Now Gleeson. Gleeson up to half forward. Spalding a good lead. Gets rid of his opponent. Can go on. Earl Spalding on the run. And as so often happens, he wins the ball well, but can't kick for goal. Yeah, that's a waste, isn't it, by Big Earl? He played a very good game last week on Saturday night against uh, Essendon. But as Drew said, it quite often his kicking, especially on the run, lets him down. An irony in this game, it's two goals to one. The two goals for Adelaide, kicked by a Victorian. Wigney coming from Lee and Gather. And Carlton's goal, kicked by a South Australian, Kernan. Knocked 
up the ground by Wren. Oh. Just spalling again. Just took half a second too long. That's mother again by Bickley, Drew. Maynard, who starred in the uh, SANFL last week and won his recall mm -hmm. off to uh, McGuinness. His kick to half forward. Smart can't get into the players yet. Hannah. Well played by Mill Hannah. Off and running. Dodging, weaving, but a good tackle by Wiedemann. Now brings Athorn in. High kick towards half forward. Rusciuto wasn't a mark, not according to the umpire. Maynard over the ball. Oh, clever hands. McDermott. You've got to like the boy Bickley as well. He's terrific. There goes the kick inside the 50. Modra was up. Loose ball behind. Lip tack. He's cagey. Watch him here. He works against Ratton. Modra has it. Great tackle. Shoulder bring him down. Back comes Lip tack. They tie it up and the ball up. Well, Bickley two smothers and he missed McKay. And when McKay, I think, watches the replay, will breathe a sigh of relief. <laughs> You're right. The crowd went, ooh. He spotted him <laughs> from 20 metres, didn't he? It was like a homing device. One by Madden. This is Liptak in trouble, holding the ball surely. Heaver will take it on the outer side. Brett Heaver, without question, the prize of last season's mid-season draft. 45 goals this year in 21 matches. And the tackling in this game has been superb. The mark by Wren was about third in line. Oh, he's a good young player, Sean Wren. 12 votes last year in the Brown, though. Very impressive. From centre wing. Minute and a half to go to quarter time. Heaver at half-back flank for the Blues. Back to centre wing. Williams is there. Maynard in front. Can't bring the mark down. A wrestle. And there's Chris McDermott last to get up. Steve Kernahan won the best and fairest at Glenelg three years in a row. Came over to Carlton. And McDermott won it the next three years in a row. Madden. McDermott to Jarman. The old firm. High kick towards half forward. Ratton comes across. Unkind bounce. Lee played it superbly. Lip tack to McGuinness who measures the kick from 45 metres out. And uncharacteristically has slipped it across the face. Tony McGuinness finding some space there. Got to be a strong candidate for the Brownlow. Approaching 450 kicks for the season. That's number one in the AFL as the coaches look on. McGuinness this afternoon, already seven kicks. Here's Silvani. A bit of ten goals against Fitzroy. Back in, I think, round 16. Kicking in. Finds Heaver. Heaver, about 25 metres from his own oh. defensive goal. Stumps the ground. It comes to Hogg. Lucky let off for the Blues. This is Ratton. Kick by Ratton wide, too wide for Bradley. Couldn't control the ball out of play. Probably be the last bit of play in the first quarter. A very low scoring affair. Adelaide 2 4, Carlton 1 3. Smart going in ruck against Madden. Pops one over his head. Wiedemann. Caught by Bradley. Umpire said, Give it to me. He won't have time to ball it up. That is quarter time here at Waverley. And it's a seven-point lead to the Crows. 2-4 to 1-3. Now Carlton with the slight breeze in the second quarter. The Crows lead by seven points. Madden faces Wren. Wren a decisive hit out. But now it's up for grabs. Athorn flipped round the air. Came on to replace Alvin. And interesting that Athorn is at his fifth league club. So he's really been around for a total of 81 games. Try this for size. Essendon, Footscray, Fitzroy, Sydney, and now Carlton. I think you just about hold the record, Drew. More clubs than Jack Nicholas. Lots of socks. Bickley can't get his boot to ball, but gets fist to ball. Out to Tregenza. McDermott up towards the 50. And Tasker takes the mark coming out from the pocket. So Christou, who had quite a bit of the ball in the first quarter, his opponents keep getting the ball as well. Christou had 6 and 1 in the first quarter. But Wigney kicked two goals, and now will Tasker kick another one? Too far out, it holds up. Edge of the square, Modra didn't get a touch in the first quarter. And the ball's flipped over the boundary line for a throw-in. So you could have almost had that at the second uh, grab there, Tony Modra, but it was knocked, well, I think, away by his teammate in Liptak. Here's the throw-in. Wigney in front. 
directs it down towards the goal face. Mondra keeps it alive. Ratton at close quarters to Silvani. And now Sexton runs it out. Boots it towards half-back. In front, Hogg over the top, Jarman. Well done by Bradley. Charged the hand pass down. Then kicks it out towards the wing. Big Wren left it behind, but he's got support at close quarters to Lee. Lee gets it wider, stretched it, got it to Rashudo. His kick was a shocker, though. In front, Gleason went to ground. Diving in with courage, Lee. This is Scholl. Still Scholl on his knees was tripped. Brett Scholl, left half back. Plays on. Not a particularly good kick towards the middle. Spalding missed it. Tregenza, who started so well. Very important player for them. Gets it to Anderson. Anderson across the ground to space and Maynard, a runner outside Rusciuto. Rusciuto kicks inside the 50, wide of the mark, it's missed by Ratten. Tasker slides in. Oh, the umpire says holding the ball. Gee, that's a tough call, Dennis. In that situation, he was at full stretch. I don't think he had the ball trapped underneath him. Here's Christo. If anything, the tackle by Christo was a little clumsy there. Ball towards the outer side, Spalding, terrific grab. Magnificent mark by Spalding. Pops out the hand pass wide. Sexton. Up to half forward. Kernahan a long way from goal. And just about over the boundary line. But the mark is paid. Kick and a half to goal from there. Gleason. Lee a good spoil. He's a good player. Carlton were just about to make a change there too with Spalding. Charging across towards the interchange area. And Rowan Welsh. They put their hand up, so that mark may have saved Earl Spalding. Good mark, just in the nick of time. Kernahan tries to take clean possession, tries to soccer off the ground. Visca looks for the boundary line and finds it. And the umpire calls for a throw in. Chance here for the Blues. They've kicked just one goal, three for the game. But fortunately for them, their opponents just 2 4. Kernahan works to the front, but Pittman palms it away from him. Brown. A wrestle for the ball between Brown and McGuinness. And a ball up. And the work in close. Well, it's just like a title fight. Plenty of work to the body. Lots of tackling. Some of it illegal. Heaver claiming a free. Nothing doing. Rusciuto poised for the youngster. Bickley, well done. Rusciuto again. Gee, they didn't have a centimetre to work in there. Hogg. And over the top. Terrific Mark Athel. In place of Alvin, 80 metres from goal, a centering kick, still outside the 50. Well, right on the line, Anderson juggled it, well, almost held the mark. Wren socketed off the ground, Maynard feeds it out. Anderson, the hurried kick towards the wing. Up comes McKay with support. Wiedemann gave a strong contest. Brown, the first on the assist. The hand pass ill directed. Anderson's run on. Tregenza, the two wingmen on the same side of the ground. Tregenza down towards the 50. And the mark is held by Smart, who's been well held. Smart, not a good kick. Ratten, uncontested. That was Nigel Smart's first kick. So Mill Hanna doing an excellent job across half-back. Speak of the devil. Whoops, Mill in trouble. Oh, has got it. him. Socket off the ground. It ricochets off lip tack. Out of bounds on the full. Carlton very lucky there. That was dead set dropping the ball, holding the ball. Well, unless he got a little hand pass away, Drew. Let's have a look at that again. Yeah. Little hand pass, so the umpire just in the right position to see that. He knows no fear, Hannah, quite prepared on all occasions to go across the goal face as Hogg boots it towards the outer side, Rashuda. Well, that was interesting. And slapped it a mile in the air. Now he decides to wrestle the Ulio and watch the decision. What? Uh, I agree with that, Dennis, because De Ulio grabbed him and dragged him, dragged him towards him. Maynard stands his ground to take the mark. Well, that's the face of football, isn't it? Currently and for the future, that matchup between Diulio and Rusciuto. Up towards half forward, huge pack, off hands to lip tack, a beautiful hand pass over the top. Wigney comes in board, it sits up for Jarman, he taps it, finessing, and it goes straight to Bradley. A bouncing ball. Williams has been pretty quiet. His left footer, oh, Madden is 30 metres in the clear. Wren giving chase, Ooh. what a sprint! This is something to watch. Madden goes long for goal. He might have kicked it. Whoa. Sensational! I have never seen the like of it. <laughs> oh, big Justin. Oh, that'll bring a smile to Justin's face, I would think. 
and that's really rubbing the salt into the wounds of Greg Williams. Spots Big Justin all alone. Away he goes. And where are we? Jurassic Park or Waverley Park? <laughs> I was just going to say the same. Uh, away he goes. A long <laughs> kick, good goal. Terrific goal, man. <laughs> yes, it was. Like something out of Jurassic Park. Wren chasing Madden through the middle. Julio's off the ground. We've got a scramble at about. Run to Julio. And well shot, Dennis. Well, Julio's had one possession, and Rusciuto has been far too good for him. Wren was held, no free kick. Sexton, well done. Here's Athorn, the defensive side of the wing. High floating kick towards Harford. Welsh is there with Rusciuto. Welsh does well. Heber. Oh, got a shepherd and a half. Down went Visca. It was Spalding who did the shepherding. Out came a defender there in lead. Tried to give it to Jarman. Back it comes to Holt. Visca looking to atone. Brown finds Kernahan. Great football. Ooh, I'm looking very good at the moment, Carlton. Whoa, and there was some squaring up in that pack. A couple of players looking for gentlemen they'd been in contact with only moments ago. Yes, there's a pass coming coming from Fraser Brown. And Steve Kernahan never lets him down with his marking power in front of goal. You get the feeling spurred on by Madden's run, like Manassas' run. Carlton are making their move. Here's Kernahan. Well, not quite so quick for those who had stopwatches. Kernahan kicks and kicks truly. Carlton lead for the first time today. There's two goals to Steve Kernahan. He now has 60 goals for the season. And as we suggested at the start of the game, big Steve Kernahan may be the difference between these two sides. A quick hand pass there coming from Matthew Hogg, who's got the job on Jarman. And he's a wonderful player, Steve Kernahan, in front of goals. Right through the middle, not a problem. a couple of goals in the last three minutes Adelaide haven't scored in this quarter Wren beats Madden Williams still over the ball and then paddles it forward well the pack just moved forward and anybody who got in the way like Scott Lee was going to get dumped and Sporting I think hurt as well there very slow to get up Big Earl has done a reasonable job and limping rather, rather badly as he gets up from that pack Madden will be chatting to Wren about that goal. There's <laughs> no risk. He back palms this. Welsh actually has done a few things since he's been there, only in a couple of minutes. The soccer off the ground goes to Ratton. His short pass, Brown centre circle. Well, Carlton looked rattled in the first 10 minutes of the game, but they're going now. Kicked by Brown. Kernahan sandwiched out of it. Free kick. Free. Yes, well, he is really a champion, Steve Kernahan, playing at full forward or centre half forward. He has been preferred at full forward the last couple of seasons. And let's have a look at this in replay. Well, I don't I think there was all that much in it. But Steve Kerner had made it look a little bit worse. And maybe a little bit of holding. We see Pittman's left arm, I think, maybe mm. causing Pittman. the problem there. Pittman doing a bit too early, too much too early before the ball got to the area. Well, Kernahan can kick his third here. Carlton lead by five points. He has been their leading goal kicker in all eight seasons at Carlton. That's just about over the top of the post, but behind. David Kernahan, his younger brother, also from Glenelg. Well, he can't get a run in this lineup. Named as an emergency. On the seven sports scoreboard, Carlton lead by six points. Lee, very indecisive. Members side with a kick. Scholl in best position to go up and mark it. Almost did for Carlton. This is Gleeson close to the boundary line. Took it across. Tried not happy, but it was out of bounds. Just at ground level at the moment. Carlton seeming to get on top in that area. When the ball spills loose, it is the uh, Carlton players mopping up on most occasions. Hogg is doing a pretty good job on McGuinness. Williams. Now Gleeson. Gleeson deep in the pocket, pulls it back. Not a bad effort. Bent a long way, but behind. So the margin is seven points now. David Parkin, who's seen it all before. 
His eighth season with the Blues, premierships in 81 and 82, and McDermott brings it out. Look out. Across the ground he comes. This is Lee close to the boundary line. Poor football by Adelaide. Nothing much happened there. It'll be thrown in. And one thing I've noticed, uh, how the crowd has built up since the game started. They're standing in the aisles, and you don't see that too often at Waverley. There are some vacant seats, but not too many vacant aisleways, which is interesting. McDermott couldn't get a fist of that one. Lee goes towards the boundary line again. Gleeson battles it backwards cleverly. Here's McDermott. Pittman well up the ground. Kernahan with him. The kick to centre wing. Smart just cannot get a touch. Hannah has been his nemesis today. Just holds it up in the tackle. Madden one way, then the other. And the pass was clever, except it went straight to the opposition. Anderson. Jarman on the run. McDermott. His kick to centre half forward. Wigney and Sexton, the two 14s. And Wigney surprises again with another mark. He kicked the Crows two goals in the first quarter. In fact, there are only two goals for the game. Modra gets his first touch. Oh, a clever kick there, too, from Wigney. And he just placed it out in front of Modra. He got the two or three metres break on Silvani. And in that situation, Modra is a very dangerous player. And a very good pass. Here we see it just placed out in front. He didn't go for too much with the pass, but just placed it out there and gave Modra that run at the ball. So here we are. The man who's kicked 121 goals for the season gets his first kick halfway through the second quarter. It's rushed through eventually for a behind. Give that to Rat. Well, I said Hogg was on McGuinness. In fact, he was running with him moments ago, but in fact, Williams is still with McGuinness. This is Silvani. Around the outer side, Tregenza. A lot of possessions again this afternoon. His 13th upcoming. Little chip oh. pass. All showed too much of it to Silvani on the burst. Takes it. Goes. Kicks towards the wing and Welsh. Rusciuto closing. Welsh does well. Trips the light. Fantastic. On the boundary. Sets Hogg up. Now Hogg at right half forward. Centres the ball. Not a particularly good kick. Visca should have done a little better. Taken by Spaulding. Spaulding charged down by Pittman. Williams was pushed in the back. He'll get the free. Just at the other end of the ground, that mistake, kicking to a stationary man. And Silvani set it up beautifully for him. Brown set a task by Williams, but the kick was good enough. And the effort to mark it even better. And this card looking very dangerous at the moment. Six-point advantage. And coming up to the 15-minute mark of this second quarter. And Fraser Brown will be kicking from only about 20 metres out. Should get this one. This for a 12-point lead, that's a terrible effort. Okay. Oh, very ordinary kick there, Fraser Brown. Held right back on that, didn't kick through the ball. And consequently, he kicked his second behind. Scott Lee, another Victorian amongst South Australians. From Yalorn North. Went to Hawthorne. Then over to Adelaide. McGuinness. Long kick, that's McDermott to McGuinness, who got to the back of the pack. He knew how long his skipper could kick it, and away goes Tony McGuinness. The hand pass in, Tregenza, back to McGuinness. This is classical Adelaide running football. McGuinness off the left, Tasker. Oh, beautiful running football, wasn't it? Tony McGuinness, once he gets a little breather there, a bit of space. Very wide, but very good. Oh, well, this has set Tasker a real task. One end of the ground to the other. In possession football. Tasker, 40 metres and on the boundary line. Across the face. Modra flies. Bounces off McKay and through for rush behind. So Adelaide have two scores in this second quarter and they're both rushed behinds. So they're 2-6. Carlton are 3-6. Silvani pinpoints it. This is Scholl in his back pocket. High kick towards the wing. Anderson camped in front. Strong grab. Yeah, good mark. Strong mark by Anderson. Played a great game last week against... Who did they play last week? Oh, against Sawthorn. <laughs> <laughs> great win, wasn't it? Gee, good memory. <laughs> Where have I been? Anderson is centering kick. Wigney is marked at about 55 metres out. 
Notice we both charged in to help. <laughs> this bloke, Wigney, he's doing a pretty amazing. good job, isn't he, Wigney? He had a lot of injury problems out last year in Sydney. I'd venture to say too far out to score. Only his fourth game for the Crows, but what a good time to be playing. Goes for distance. Good looking kick. They'll contest about five metres out. Off hands. Ratten slaps it through for a behind. Prepared to make the concession. That's three rush behinds in this quarter to Adelaide. Ron Ashman in the foreground. Behind him, David Parkin. And now Stephen Silvani with a footy. Well, very low scoring. It's a wet weather scoreline. 3-6 to 2-7. Well, that just shows how tight this match is early in this second half. So, second quarter. 16 minutes gone. But both defences well on top. Silvani, what a shocker! That didn't only go out untouched, it went out on the full. Oh, that was a shocking kick by Silvani. Occasionally he just makes these little mistakes, but he's a great player at fullback for Carlton. How did he ever kick ten goals? <laughs> well, Tasker's had a sight, hasn't he, from here? Yeah, practice the last time. And this time he gives it elevation and direction, but Silvani, right on the line, <laughs> takes a screamer. Well, it's dangerous play though, isn't it, from a defender flying for those big marks. But he, he had tried something that to make up for. He was the one who gave the kick <laughs> in the first place. That's true. There's Hogg. Just about the perfect kick coming in from Tasker too. It's hard to kick them from out there with that cross. Broy is pushing it out from goal. Hogg a high kick towards the members' side. McKay is up. Juggled mark. Not paid. And the ball is pushed across the boundary line by Scholl. There he is. Uh, Modra with the fly initially, but over the top Silvani. He tried running those last week. It didn't come off because it's built to the ground and Mercury kicked the goal. Scholl goes off. Alvin is back on. Wren, meantime, slaps it down, taken by Bradley. And his own half-back line releases Heaver, who boots to midfield. Spalding in from the side. Good. Very good. He's alongside the centre circle. Decides to go. Athorn. Athorn smothered oh, off the well boot done. brilliantly down there by Maynard. Lee against the flow. Got it to Jarman, who sweeps it out wide. Now Anderson. Hurried kick towards half forward. In front, the mark is held by Wren. Wiedemann did well. Kept his man from the contest. Let's play on, surely. Well, Wren... Well, the umpire must have been looking there, Dennis, because Wren certainly went as if to hand pass. Showing some compassion. The big man pops it onto the boot and finds McGuinness. McGuinness to Tregenza, who can run inside the 50. A question of accuracy. Now he's in trouble. Couldn't kick the ball. Maynard, little U-turn. Hard against the line. Kicks. Another chance right on the goal line, but the mark is held this time by Sexton. And Scotty Lee in a bit of trouble for Adelaide. He seems to have a problem with that right shoulder. Ratton comes out to Bradley. When is a forward going to get a kick? <laughs> Gee, kick by Bradley to the centre of the ground. A climb high. Welsh couldn't take the mark down to Brown. He pops it over the top. McKay, if he can take this mark, will gather. Will be uh, out in the open. It's tapped on for Andrew McKay. He overruns it. Visca does well. Oh. Williams takes one high and will take a free kick. He's not too good, Greg Williams. Well, I don't know whether it's all that bad. I think Greg Williams at times makes them look a lot worse than what they actually are. But he had his head down. He certainly gives the umpire every opportunity to have a look at it. Well, the medical staff reckon it was bad enough. They Here came from everywhere. Here we go. We'll have a look at it again. Williams with the head down. Oh, yeah, he got him with the hip. It's pretty hip hard. on top to of hit. the head. Yeah. Yeah, dangerous situation. And well spotted by the umpire. Greg Williams, one of my favourites for the brown line this year. Well, look what happened to Harding last week when he was met by a hip. It was a good night for him. Here's Williams steering in short to Kernahan. This time he can't take the mark ground level contest, Carlton free almost right in front and about 20 metres out and Welsh has made a difference since he came on yes he's not a bad player Rowan Welsh of course he did kick 84 goals in the VFA playing with Danny Dong before he's picked up by, uh, by Carlton and there's that crude tackle there by Mark Prosciutto he was a bit stiff I thought Prosciutto but Welsh was going Hammer and tongs at the ball. Eyes only for the ball. Lip, Matthew Liptak coming off for the Crows to be replaced by David Brown. Liptak, one of their very best players last week against Hawthorne. Welsh for goal. Across the face. And that's two misses by Carlton from about 25 or 30 metres out in this quarter. Brown and Welsh. 
well, lip tack, three kicks, three hand passes. Not the same effect as last week. And Modra at the other end of the ground is showing signs of an injury. Modra's had just one kick. But it's 3-7 to 2-7 in an unbelievable scoreline. Tregenza gets it to Bickley, who storms through the middle, kicks it down towards the 50-metre line. In front, Modra, claimed by Silvani. Ball jarred free, smart dragged off it. Wiedemann a half chance, tries to slap it on. This is Hannah. Did nicely, kept his composure. Christo gets it across to support around the other side, McKay, but only as far as Tregenza. Tregenza goes deep to the pocket. Far too deep, as we saw, out of bounds on the full. Would have been handy if he could have kicked there with the left boot there, Simon Tregenza. Didn't show much confidence. Christo sends play back towards the outer side. Wren's in front. Over the top, Madden at the second attempt. Flicks it his way. McGuinness carries it across the line, and the ball will be thrown in. Well, I'd say with the exception of Kernahan and Whitney, if you're a forward, you'd either be looking to be repositioned in defence so you could get a kick, or go to the bench. Yeah, it's a perfect day for forward line play, you would have thought too. Bickley, pass is good, Tasker, good mark. Well, Tasker's had a few touches though, Drew, since he came onto the ground to replace Randall Bone. Playing in that forward pocket with Stewie Wigney playing further afield across that half forward line now. And Sean Tasker much more mobile than, than Randall Bone. In front of Christou, a very good grab that one. We've been playing over 50 minutes and there are only three goal kickers in the game. Kernahan two, Wigney two and Madden one. Tasker, he's had two shots from out here. Third time lucky, perhaps. Better angle to goal. It's close. Just offline. 2-8 the Crows. 3-7 Carlton. Well, they're not getting their shots easily. Uh, Adelaide in front of goal. A couple of very tight angles for Sean Tasker in this term. And very hard for their key forwards in smart and Modra to get any of the ball at all. Silvani straight down the middle, Wren goes up, got a fist on it, taken by Bickley, quick hands away to McGuinness. McGuinness with pace, 60 metres out, tries to thread the ball to Brown, chopped off by Ratten, clears the zone, it pitches inside the field of play and runs away from Williams and Tregenza and will be thrown in out his side. McKernahan's got a couple for Carlton, Whitney has two for Adelaide. A war of attrition at the moment. Oh, he can't do that, surely. Madden just shoved Jarman in the back. Gleeson slaps it out of bounds. Well, Victorian umpire probably said that's fair enough. Well, look at the free kicks at the moment. 16 to Carlton. 8 to Adelaide. Let's have a look at this. Jarman in front, there's a shove. Mm. Just shoved him out of the way. A cannon. Madden gets it to Brown. Williams. Ratten now. Ratten from half back towards the middle of the ground. Almost the mark to Visca, who runs on and does well. Knocked it away from Alvin Bradley, equally as well. Got it to Sexton. Heather goes down. Play goes on. It's taken by Alvin. Gets the hand pass away to Gleeson. Gleeson kicks inside the 50. Kernahan's in front. Got hands to it. Couldn't hang on. Pittman did well. First back. Got it to Rusciuto. Rusciuto tries to find the boundary line. Gleeson tries to find the footy. He did, but not in time. And a throw in. Left half forward for Carlton. They lead 3-7 to 2-8. Interesting heaver. A couple of half chances for free kicks not paid this afternoon. Watching the replay of last week's game a couple of times, I noticed he did get a goal from what was a dodgy free, and I think the umpires may have seen that replay as well. Here's Alvin, got it from Brown, goes across the ground. It's taken here by Madden, the Do big man. Some indecision, doesn't go for a run. He kicks it down towards Kernahan. Courage by McDermott going back. He was pushed in the back, surely. Rusciuto playing a marvellous game as his 10th kick out of defence. And look at the pinpoint accuracy. Tregenza slicing up whoever he's playing on, slicing them to pieces. It's Athorn this time, a centering kick, and Whitney takes another mark. Just forward of the centre circle this time. He backs himself, gives a 15-metre oh. hand pass, which oh. is dodgy. Jarman, good control at ground level. The pass for Tasker. He's the decoy full forward. Christou does well this time. Punches to Gleeson. Off to Brown. Brown's kick out to centre wing. Williams roaming far and wide. And Williams coming up for his 12th disposal. Robbo reckons he needs to get 40 to play a half decent game, so he's a long way short of that. Comes to Alvin. Lee's in trouble, real trouble with that right shoulder. I think we may see him come from the ground. 
Welsh to Williams. Kernahan trying to get clear. Williams pass in that direction. Brilliant. It's a mark. Play on. No, play, play on, Drew. the umpire. Oh. Yeah, Scotty Ooh. Lee off. Now Gleeson for goal. It bounces across the face. And Maynard's back there. Rugby tackle over the line. The umpire says throw it in. Well, I reckon that was a mark to Kernahan. Yeah, this Scotty Lee off, I said he was in real strife with that uh, right shoulder when he had to attack the ball there without any sort of confidence. Lip tack back on for the Crows. Heaver. Oh, what? You're kidding. They're kicking goals from places you wouldn't believe they could <laughs> kick them from. Well, they have to, Drew, because they can't get any easy ones here this afternoon at Waverley. 4-7 Carlton, 2-8 Adelaide. 11-point advantage now for the Blues. Here's Scotty Lee. He really didn't want to attack that one because his uh, right shoulder was causing him problems. And then he fell right on that shoulder point. Oh, he tried to protect it. On the seven sports scoreboard, the margin is 11 points approaching half-time. This is Jarman. The Crows could do with a goal here. Brown out at left half forward. Brown on in place of Liptak. Centering kick. Tasker will need to go, but Sexton did best. Comes away, boots it back towards midfield. Spalding's in front. Maynard the flyer. Liptak, as you can see, back on the ground. Rashuda, who's been very good back there, trying to push it forward. Couldn't succeed that time. Wren stood up in the tackle. Liptak knocked it on. Chance here for Smart, who's been pretty quiet. Out to Bickley. Inside the last minute of the first half. Modra the leaper in front. Knocked away by Silvani. To Sexton at close quarters. Presto over the top now. McKay a favourable bounce this time. Boots it towards the wing. Opportunity for Adelaide. Tregenza. One bounce. Through the centre square. Sets it up for Modra. Modra forced to spoil though. Fell forward taken by Gleeson. Gleeson boots it out wide and Brown has the run of it. 20 seconds left in the half. Liptak sandwiched. Anderson just gets boot the ball. Jarman had it spent before he actually took the mark. Steers the pass in low. Modra. He was going to get the free kick. Nearly took the mark anyway. Free kick against Silvani right in front. Yeah, this has had a tough afternoon so far. Tony Modra. With Silvani, a top opponent, playing against him at full back. Sexton's been jumping into that hole, filling up that hole and helping out Silvani. And also Christou coming back across there as well. So nothing's come uh, very easy this afternoon for Modra. So far today, he's had just one kick. Kicked just two goals last week. Modra from oh, 35 shocker. metres has missed it. Well, that is unaccountable for the man who's been a star in the home and away series. Now, look at the free kick from a different angle. Well, it didn't look to be much in it, did it, from that angle, Drew? A little bit of body on body early, but I don't think he was actually holding on to him, Dennis. We assume it happened earlier, can't It may be, but certainly not in that passage of play. No. But a great half there from Steve Silvani playing at full back and obviously saying a few things to the umpire. They're not happy with that decision. They've matched up very well, in fact. There's Nigel Smart, who has been very quiet for Adelaide. He played a top game last week, but here this afternoon has only had one kick. Nigel Smart playing on Mill Hanna. Tony Modras had two kicks playing at full forward. So both forward lines really struggling to get a bit of the ball. So a goalless term from the Adelaide Crows. Only their third of the season. They trail by 10 points at halftime. 4-7 to 2-9. Start of the third term in the second semi-final. And Carlton lead by 10 points. Wren is favoured by the bounce and gets it down. Looking for Bickley. Standing up in the tackle. It was Bradley. Slapped out of there by Athorn. It runs down towards half forward. Spalding came to meet it. Knocked away by Liptak, taken by Wiedemann. McGuinness dragged off the kick. As a result, it virtually goes straight up in the air. McKay did well, backed himself against the ball. The crumbs came to Maynard, who boots it down towards the 50. Brown and Ratton, this will be interesting. Ratton does brilliantly, works his way in front and gets it across the boundary line. Deliberate, says the umpire. Oh, that's a very tough call. I tell you what, Dennis, if you get a free kick paid against you in a situation like that this year... As we see this in replay, Ratton, there's no doubt he, he did go for the boundary line, but I've, I reckon I've seen 50 of those in the last two months that haven't been paid. Well, he was second to the ball initially, got to the front, as a result was off balance. 
Very tough. Brown puts it to the goal square. McKay gets back and concedes it behind, but we've got another free kick. And this time it's going to Carlton, and Christo will take it. So the umpires making their presence felt as we start the second half. Umpires Peter Carey and Hayden Kennedy. Free kicks are 17 to 11 in favour of Carlton. I can just hear the whole of South Australia going crook about that one. And here's one to Adelaide. Going to Wigney. Well, Wigney in front. They really must uh, lift across half forward, Adelaide. I suppose, looking at the positives for Adelaide, they're only 10 points down and they've got nothing out of their two key forwards. Kick by Wigney. Right to the line. Chris Du and Silvani combined to get it over the line. For a rush behind, so uh, leading goal scorer for Adelaide is rushed. The Carlton defenders are consistently prepared to concede a point and Adelaide's scoreline shows it. 2-10. 31 plays 22 and we're in the third quarter. Big transfer fee from Liverpool as Silvani kicks in straight down the middle. Knocked down by Madden, taken by Liptak. Strong tackle brought him down. The big man wrapped his arms around it. Ian Rush got that one. Bit cryptic. Bounce about 55 metres out from goal. Randall Bone looks on. He's had some time on the ground. Wren and Madden slapped out of there by Madden. Williams sockers it forward towards the wing. Welsh worked off the ball brilliantly by Rashudo. Rashudo towards half forward. If it stays in, the Crows are a chance to score from this sortie. Wiedemann, well, he was about 15 metres in the clear. McKay was closing, certainly, but Wiedemann and the Crows got an unkind bounce. A little bit stiff there. Matthew Hock definitely going with Tony McGuinness in this second half, doing the tagging job. Smart goes over the top. Jarman. Ball jolted out by Ratton. Gleeson. You see that umpire. <laughs> Proud of me, something to say about it too. It'll be a throw in. Shaw and Diulio on the bench for Carlton. Shepherd free, free kick free. against Madden. Gee whiz. That's oh, the that a triangle down there for Carlton, that area. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Eh? Well, I thought that was a pretty tough call too. Neither player getting anywhere near the boundary throw in. He does that often, Big Justin, doesn't he? Just getting the aerodynamics right before he takes off. Yeah, we'll have a look at that again. There's Madden. He was throwing his arms out, but... Oh, yeah, well, technically, I suppose it was a shepherding free kick. Ran from 50 metres. A great-looking kick. Home for all money. Adelaide get their third goal only. Madden kicked a 55-metre goal. Wren has replied with a 50-metre goal. Yeah, well, tit for tat there, Big Shulman Wren. And actually, I do agree with this free kick because Madden, no intention of going for the ball whatsoever. He kept Wren right out of that contest. So I believe that was a good uh, decision there by umpire Carey. And that is a terrific kick for goal by Big Shulman Wren. And again, the emergency talking to Athorn. Three points the margin, the emergency umpire out to Athorn and Tregenza, and I've got to say Tregenza very much the innocent party and all of that. Athorn's got a job to do, and that's part of it, just losing his way and walking into Tregenza. He'll do it again probably as he comes back on him. In the meantime, Madden and Wren make contact. Madden props in front, hooks it behind, Liptak did well, McDermott alongside the centre circle towards half forward, Ratton who's been very good in defence works his way in front, this is Williams, concedes some ground, Hannah has certainly won the duel against Smarty, lacks support, gets it across eventually to Ratton, some indecision now, Ratton goes across the ground, Chris Du juggles it, boots it towards the wing, now they can come forward, this is McKay, the Blues look good here, McKay, Measures the options, goes for distance, Kernahan, Bisker in from the side, got it to the ground. It was mopped up by Bickley, who got it to Pittman. McKay again. Liked his game this afternoon. We've liked his season. He goes in short. Welsh, about 60 metres from goal, hard against the boundary line. Yeah, short but indirect too, Dennis. Rowan Welsh too far out to score. And in the meantime, the Adelaide players have got back to cover Kernahan. A very congested forward line here for Carlton. Lewis lead by three points. Bradley comes on a lead and takes the mark on his chest. Plays on. Opens up the goal. Kicks. Good looking effort. Great goal. There are a 
few classier players in this competition than that man Craig Bradley. Seized the moment, played on, opened it up and kicked a wonderful goal. Yes, there wasn't much space there in that forward line to lead into. And Craig Bradley finding about the only space that he could deep in that forward pocket. Seized the opportunity, played on. And that was a great goal by Craig Bradley. And as we see Rowan Welsh going back to the interchange bench, he's been replaced by Ron Diulio. Wren, clean possession out of the middle. Oh, terrific hand pass to Liptak. Liptak's kick well inside the 50. Brown, same direction as the ball, and Modra approaches it. He's got the mark. Yes, paid the mark. Well, maybe lucky. It spilled, definitely spilled out. Well, Tony Modra has certainly found kicks hard to come by. He's only had two kicks in that first half. Let's have a look at this again from a different angle. Modra gets to the ball, takes it. Yeah. Had it for a long time, but, uh, well... Good enough. Do you like that one, Dennis? I think so. Okay. Even better in slow motion. <laughs> Held it longer. Exactly. <laughs> I bet the umpires many times wish they had the advantage of the slow motion. The goal by Bradley, incidentally, is only the second at the right-hand end for the game. Modra at the left-hand end, 45 metres out. Has got it. breaks his duck. That's his first goal for the day, and the Crows trail by just three points. Well, well done, Tony Modra. He has to lead against Silvani, no doubt about that. It was good stuff by Sean Wren in the centre of the ground there, doing the ruck work. Held the ball for a long time until there was an option there. Uh, that being lip tack. Out in front, Modra leading. He held it for a while. I actually wouldn't have paid that, Dennis. I don't think he controlled it long enough. Important sign that one for the Crows. Modra gets his 122nd goal for the season. Ablett has 124. Of course, Ablett no longer playing this season. McDermott out of the middle. They're winning it out of the centre at the present time, the Crows. Wigney, quick hands away to Brown. Brown comes down towards the 50. Modra comes on the lead. The little chip pass wide of the mark. Modra leads back and the ball spills out of bounds. He's a little inconvenienced, is Tony Modra. Not 100% at the moment. Scott Lee is off the ground. We're told a bruised shoulder. Haven't heard that one too often before. Corked? Thrown wasn't, in. wasn't the word corked? Corked. That's right. Dr. Morfitt. Heaver out of the congestion towards the outer side. Anderson went down. Williams. Cleverly. And away they come. Bradley to McKay. And now Heaver back to Williams. The man who started things. Heaver and McKay. One of two. McKay to Athorn. Athorn fumbles. Socket away by Tregenza. Some irony in that, and we enjoyed it. Tregenza feeds it back. This is Rusciuto. Rusciuto alongside the centre circle. Spot Smart. Important turnover, that one, Dennis. Wasn't it? Smart. Too far out to score, I'd suggest, although he can kick a spiral a long way. And he's contemplating that. No, he goes in short now. Modra comes on the lead again. Fisted away by Silvani. Brown goes after it. Well, he had very few options there, Nigel Smart, because the only one back in the goal square was big uh, Justin Madden. He had to really look for a leading player, as he did there, looking for Modra. He was too far out to score. Nigel Smart from about 65 metres. The throw in. Madden works to the front. Sexton a big leap at the back. Help further up the ground. Anderson leads the race, going backwards. McDermott, a very high ball. Coming down about 35 metres from goal, Ratton goes for the boundary line and finds it. Well, Dennis, you mentioned uh, the goal-kicking position for the season. Abbott and Dunstall have both finished 124 and 123. Modra now 122. They're the only three centurions for the season. Modra still alive. Brown. Little hand pass. Wiedemann breaks the tackle. Back to McDermott, just playing behind the pack all the time. Centres the ball beautifully for Bickley. But it's Tasker. Yeah, well, he's much better on the forward line than uh, big Randall Bone. And Randall Bone didn't have the uh, agility or the mobility across half forward. Tasker has certainly made some sort of an impact since he was brought onto the ground. Needs to get a goal from all his efforts. Right in front, 45 metres out. It gets off line, I believe. Who are behind. A goal would have put them in front. The Crows trail by two points. Two behinds to Sean Tasker. 
really need to uh, make something of this term, Drew, because the breeze definitely favouring left of screen, the end to which Adelaide is kicking in this term. Silvani straight up the ground. Madden doesn't attempt the mark. Punches on, but McGuinness gets it out to McDermott to Jarman. Jarman's left footer off the side of the boot wide. Christou overruns the ball. Tasker caught in the Christou tackle. So the ball is Carlton's. Heaver back to Christou. He earned that one. McKay. Kicked by McKay. Wide to centre wing. Spalding at full stretch. No, no mark. Throw in. No mark. He's saying, what about the other end of the ground there? He played that one to Modra. That was pretty similar. Well, definitely no mark that one. Carlton leading by two points. 37 to 35. Madden to Williams. Athorn just gets the hand pass free. Hogg. Didn't like that one too much to Heaver. Put him under all sorts of pressure. McDermott gets it to McGuinness. Well, the free kick going back to Heaver, who was slung by Bickley after he got rid of the ball. Frees are 19 to 13 in favour of Carlton. The kick to half forward. Prosciutto gets it to the back. And the ball out of bounds at right half forward for the Blues. Greg Williams being picked up by Chris McDermott in the second half with uh, Matthew Hogg doing the tagging job on McGuinness. Centre breaks well in favour of Adelaide. 4-0 in this uh, third quarter. And centre breaks, you wouldn't believe, have anything to do with the breeze. Adelaide have the breeze, but they're breaking out of the middle. Centre wing contest. Off hands, Wiedemann. Good hand pass to Brown. Brown, Ooh, a bit of a fumble at ground free. level. He's taken out of it by McKay and will take a free kick, Brown. McKay's done a pretty good job too on Wiedemann. Men on down the ground. Jarman is one of them. He's got it now. Maynard storms past. Maynard inside the 50. Too much carry for Modra. Silvani read it best in flight. Goes back, takes the mark, plays on immediately. Hannah will need to go. It bounces obligingly for him. Some work done off the ball by Smart. Goes unpenalised because Hannah had the ball. He found Sexton. The hand pass untidy. Now Hannah. This will show you how hard it is into the breeze. Chris do. Kick towards the wing. Gleason props in front. Rusciuto. He's a good young player. Oh, he's terrific, isn't he? Mark Rusciuto, only 18 years of age. McDermott towards centre half forward. Christou on his chest. And this boy's played pretty well too. Uh, uh, Angelo Christou playing in the back pocket for Carlton. Actually, it's Evangelos. It isn't Angelo. We sat next to him at the Rising Star lunch during the week. Evangelos Christou. Ange, he prefers. Yes, and nominated after his four goals against Hawthorne. Madden, meantime, pops it up high. Mismatch there. Tregenza are over Athorn. Interesting to watch to see if Carlton can string three possessions together into the breeze. It's hard to do. Adelaide found it hard the previous quarter. Jarman. Oh, great spoil by Christou. Hannah slides the ball across to Silvani. That's one kick. Madden marks behind halfback. Now Modra's got to lift his game at full forward. He must do more when uh, Carlton has the ball coming out of defence. Spalding, the only chance for Carlton. It flips to the back to Williams. Williams floats a hand pass. Hogg had to wait for it. His tap out is clever. Bradley gathers. Now they're a chance to run it into the breeze. Bradley all the way to the 50. All the way to the 30. Craig Bradley goes for goal and kicks a ripper. in this turn. There's yes, two very important goals. And here's a replay. Bickley more intent on running through Hogg there instead of worrying about Bradley. And Bradley was able to have about three or four bounces run inside the 50 metre area from about 40 metres out. He's kicked two great running goals in this third turn. Seven sports scoreboard, the margin is eight points. Mark Bickley backing himself to go and get the ball, and the danger evident there. Bradley got it and punished the Crows. McGuinness comes out of the middle, a high kick, down towards full forward once more. Silvani got a hand to it, Modra, smothered off the boot superbly by Christou, who overruns it now. Loose ball on the kickoff line. Hannah has been terrific. Away he comes again, his second bounce. Takes on McGuinness. He takes them all on. He comes up to centre half back. It's been a day of runs. We've seen the Madden run, the Bradley run, another Hannah run as he boots it down towards half forward. Like a gold rush. Madden was up. Wren didn't have the ball. He'll get the free kick. And for all that, one big Adelaide kick, and they'll be back where they started. Maynard steers the ball. Smart, or rather, Whitney at full stretch couldn't take the mark. Sexton. 
on the bounce Brown awkward comes off to uh, Diulio no distance with his kick lip tack doesn't go for the ball Shepherds Diulio off now they're out of trouble Visco gets the hand pass across it finishes with McDermott through lip tack high ball to center wing Wiedemann's ball by McKay it falls in favor of Brown Brown straightens away from Ratton the pass good for Modra juggle no mark Sexton Carlton have to do it all over again that's the long kick would have been better Carlton bring it out 50-50 ball Bickley will not be denied in that situation look at him go great balance and poise there Mark Bickley pumps it back inside the 50 Silvani has been the master oh. held without it he'll get the free kick Yes, poor play there by Modra. Silvani finds Williams. Williams, 17 possessions so far. Out of defence, not a good kick. It wobbles towards Sexton, clean bowled him. Tregenza waits behind. Good tackle by Athorn, got him down. Good hand pass from Bradley, releases McKay. Shocking effort from him. Comes down towards half forward. Rusciuto overran it. This is to Ulio. To Ulio to Bradley. History repeats itself. He runs to 30. He may have kicked another one. His third. A purple patch from the former South Australian. And the South Australians are reeling. 7 7 to 4 11. This has kicked the entire Carlton score in this third quarter. In fact, Craig Bradley. Uh, Denny gets away from Bickley with good play by Ron Diulio because Bickley was intent on uh, running Diulio down. But he created some space there for Bradley and from a similar position to that last goal, 40 metres out on the run. Back in the centre. And how the ex-South Australians are punishing the Crows at the moment. McDermott to Jarman. Great hand pass. Lip back through the middle. His pass wide for Modra. This time Silvani nowhere in sight. And it's the South Australians, the Carlton South Australians have kicked five of the seven goals. Stephen Coonahan two. Craig Bradley three. And the other goals for Carlton. Brent Heaver one. And Justin Madden one. Modra for his second goal of the day take him to 123 for the season looks all right a goal so Modra has kicked his only two in this quarter Bradley's kicked three in this quarter and the score is 7-7 to 5-11 there's a margin only eight points still as we see this uh, the Adelaide Crows winning the ball out of the centre there good hand pass from McDermott to Jarman to Liptak and that's what uh, Tony Modra likes about 5 to 10 metre there on that lead terrific build up Madden has to wait Wren goes over the top Jarman who's doing well in that centre square Wiedemann boots it down towards half forward once again Ratton leads back in the race it's close to the boundary line how will he play it this time he didn't need to Brown socket the ball away Tregenza runs onto it to Brown Brown goes goalward it looks pretty good no he's just missed across the face of a hind we talked about lip tack immediately after the break as Earl Spaulding looks on he's been lively in this term too particularly in the centre square and they're doing well there Christo got it from Silvani Sexton will need to go Anderson closing knocked it forward Sexton battles on and again look at him go didn't have it well played by Sexton Gleeson off the ground gained about 25 metres but put it out of bounds on the full yeah, it's always dangerous in that kick from uh, Gleeson not a percentage kick there trying to kick that off the ground Adelaide 19 scoring shots to 14 but they trail by 7 points Jarman a centering kick Wiedemann listen to the crowd we weed he goes long. Silvani up high, hit the ground very hard. Out of defence, Carlton. Oh, good running mark taken by Athorn. Right half back flank. Kick by Athorn to centre wing, straight to McDermott. Who can't take the mark. Goes on quickly to Tregenza. He's taken out by Athorn, not for the first time. And Tregenza keeps on getting the ball. 22 oh, possessions. And when Athorn went on to him, he had only seven. So it cost uh, Alvin his place on the ground, but Athorn's done no better. McGuinness away to Bickley. This game lifting now. Goals coming more freely. Jarman has been terrific. Back to McGuinness. Long probing kick down towards the goal square. Silvani angles it brilliantly. 
prepared to make the concession. Well, I make that six rush behinds this, out of this Adelaide score of 5.13. There's Randall Bone, who was uh, very ordinary in the early part of the game, is preparing to come back onto the ground. Silvani. Members side ever so slightly. Sexton goes back, knocked away well by Tregenza. Could have almost been a mark. It comes across to Wiedemann, and he's missed. Are the Crows kicking themselves out of the grand final? Well, you would think so at this stage, Dennis. An easy shot by David Brown a couple of minutes ago, and now that one from Wiedemann. He's kicked two behinds. Adelaide 5 14 on the scoreboard. So they've had 19 shots to 14 and trail by five behinds. Madden marks, dishes off the hand pass quickly to Gleeson. Craig Bradley has been the man of the third quarter. His kick over centre wing wide. Rusciuto leads, oh. nearly takes the mark, but spills it out of bounds. The supplier of the future, Mark Rusciuto, has had a terrific year so far. As we see the player coming off the ground, Sean Tasker, to be replaced by Randall Byrne. I'm not, too, I'm not sure I like that move, uh, Drew. Tasker's kicked poorly, but he's taken four marks and had five kicks. But uh, he's not Robinson Crusoe in kicking poorly in this game. Byrne, a last-minute replacement. Originally an emergency, but he replaced Jamison. Carlton tackling 7-1 to one for the quarter. Can't believe Adelaide have laid just one tackle. Madden, Bradley fumbled this time. Through Bickley. He got it from McDermott originally. Now here's McGuinness. McGuinness short pass to Smart. In front of Hannah, a rare occurrence. Smart goes longer. Sun in the, in the eyes of Modra, but he takes the mark. That was a good mark, wasn't it, Drew? And you could see him shielding his eyes before the ball got there. And maybe uh, Silvani was unsighted also, because he didn't even make a spoiling attempt at the end. There he is shielding the eyes there. And he's caught behind Steve Silvani. And a straight kick will put the Crows in front. From near the boundary line, across the face of goal. And it's gone off hands. Another rush behind. Make it seven, Bernie, in the scoreline of 5-15. Seven rush behinds. And it's four points the difference. Carlton in front with five and a half minutes to three-quarter time. Silvani gets it from Christo this time. The roll's reversed. Back to Christo. I think we've got Coonahan out to centre-half forward now to uh, Dennis. Not a bad ploy working up into the breeze. Chris do a high kick towards the wing. Madden props in front. Good mark. Plays on. Oh, McKay left it behind. Jarman. Quick to pounce. Goes in short. Wiedemann. Jarman's been very good in this term. Up to 19 possessions now. Wiedemann. Centering kick. Ill-directed. Silvani the mark. Well, to Bradley. Only a half lead there from Modra. Bradley comes away. A little too Modra conscious though, the Crows the way up the options, the ball on the other side Anderson a chance to send it back in Heaver closing, Anderson throws it on the boot and puts it out of bounds on the ball he has the capacity Greg Anderson to look very tired even when he's not he looks tired at the moment, here's Williams he collides with Anderson fell to the ground, realised he was okay, lays it off this is Heaver, Heaver through midfield trick Genzer again Back come the Crows. They want a goal this time. Ooh. Long kick from Tregenza. Crow down off the ball. Silvani again. There was a player doing the shepherding there. Sean Wren who caught one from Athorn. Wasn't exactly a bone jarring tackle but it was effective. It got him down Silvani as he played on. Taken by Wrigley. And he's missed it. Or rather Whitney just missed it to the right hand side. Two goals one to Stuart Whitney. So six kicks, four marks and three handballs. 3-7 in this quarter, the Crows, to three goals straight by Craig Bradley. And it could be the difference in the game. That's mark number 10 for Justin Madden. So that's a pretty good effort. Ten marks in the final is uh, good in anyone's book, Drew. I'll say, and Silvani's taken seven back there at fullback. Seven marks, going confidently at it against Modra. Three against Athorn there on Trigenza. Gutsy by Trigenza, wasn't it? It was a good effort going back there with Coonahan bearing down on him. As Brett Scholl warms up on the boundary line for Carlton, preparing to come back on. 
24th disposal for Simon Fregenza before three-quarter time. Here's Wren, who's recovered from that knock from Athorn. Off to McGuinness. Long kick. Bone gets underneath it. Comes to Pittman, 50 metres out, but he hooks it and it bounces out of bounds. So we can't even give him a score for that, well, that even about, though it was a scoring chance. Just about sums up their goal kicking this afternoon, the Adelaide Crows. Five goals, 16 to 7-7 seven, seven Carlton. And they trail by three behinds. Anyway, Bradley has proved you can kick goals into the breeze, so it's certainly not all over yet. Smart snaps for goal. Offline misses from 15 metres. In fact, out of bounds on the foot. Brooks Mother has been a feature of the Crows football this afternoon. Kick, well wide at the mark. Granted, though, he was under extreme pressure. Here's Silvani, what a game he's played. To Williams, still deep in his own defensive area. The clock continues to run down to 2.30 now, remaining in this third term. Carlton will finish on the breeze. Only worth about one, perhaps two goals. It's not strong. Ran over the top. Bones got it. Looks for the hand pass. Sold lip tack into trouble. Good tackle by Heaver. Ratton gets it across to Williams. He didn't have the ball. He'll get the free kick. Not a good option there from Randall Bone with that hand pass. Lip tack was completely covered. Just needed a kick. Exactly. Across the ground comes Williams. Here's Chris Do. Can Carlton get a late one? This could break the resistance. He storms up through the middle. The kick he'll direct it. Maynard comes out at full chested. Rebound opportunity now for the Crows. Wigney's in trouble. Back it comes to Maynard. Tries to feed it to McGuinness. It was knocked away down there by Hawk. McGuinness was he carried forward. Not according to the umpire. And the ball up. And the other thing there, when Randall Bone gave that very ordinary hand pass, the turnover was created and his men... Ange Christou ran the ball up to the half forward line for Carlton. Well, we've told you about the centre breaks. Adelaide dominating. That's the good news from their point of view. They trail in this game as Jarman boots it down towards half forward, but they've got plenty of the ball. And if the opposition's got the wind and you've got the ball, they can't beat you. Ratton gives it across to Williams. This is Sexton. Sexton back to Williams. Interesting. Not too much pace there, but a lot of guile. The two number twos fell over. It's taken by Ratton around the outer side. Kernahan was up. Missed it. Falls behind. This is McGuinness. Hard against the boundary line. And now Bisca. Oh, good release. Good run, too, from Rusciuto. Kick by Rusciuto. Up towards centre half forward, but McKay takes the mark. Goes on quickly. Wide to centre wing. Athorn and Tregenza. It sits up on the point, the ball. Athorn back after it. The hand pass is good. He wants it back. But it doesn't come back from Scholl. Kick wide, Bradley, the man of the third quarter. But he won't be turn. scoring from here. Great turn by Bradley. Three magnificent goals in this third quarter. And they're still Carlton's only scores for the turn. Kick by Bradley. Out in front of goal. Gleason roving. He's still got it. Flips it back. He's, well, high oh. tackle. Free kick right in front. I was just about to say the whistle's gone for a throw, and it went Gleason's way. Well, it was certainly a throw in 10 seconds till three-quarter time. Mm. Yeah, let's have a look at this again. There's Gleason. He flipped it out. Well, he definitely threw it out, didn't he? There's no hand pass there. Well, this could be a vital free kick. Gleason goals! Right on three-quarter time, and the margin is nine points. 7.55, Adelaide 5.16, 46. Start of the final quarter here at Waverley. A nine-point lead to Carlton. But they wouldn't want to think the breeze will just do it for them in this last term. It's a big ground. There are some tired legs out there. McKay up towards half forward. It goes out wide, bouncing towards Welsh. He went past it. Maynard, good hand pass. Tregenza has to wait. Spins out of trouble well. Maynard to Jarman. They can work it into the breeze as we saw Carlton do. Jarman does it perfectly. Smart was rev revved up at three-quarter time by Corns. Here he is straight away in the direction of Modra. Silvani punches. It's just outside the 50. Smart after it again. Still Nigel Smart. Oh. And uh, meeting it solidly. It was terrific play by Sexton to get it to Silvani. His kick. Mark dropped by Madden, centre of the ground. He's got the free. 
He might have been a bit fortunate there. Frees up 24 to 16 in favour of Calvin. Unmarked is Alvin. Shepherding is Gleeson. Alvin touches down. Goes to the 50. A goal here will be a nail for the Crows. But Alvin's away to the right. It's still in the field of play. And now it goes out. Throw in. Well, I've got to say I was very impressed with the Crows' fitness in that last term last week. There's Peter Dean looking on. Doesn't seem we'll see him play in this final round for the Blues. And the Crows' fitness will be put to the test here. Bradley makes something out of nothing again! Well, he's a miraculous player. He played in the Port Adelaide Premiership side back in 1981. He stood the test of time, and he's hurting the Crows this afternoon. His fourth goal. Uh, with the Adelaide people back in Adelaide looking at this be crying when they look at Bradley kicking four goals in his second half. And, of course, Stephen Kernahan kicking two goals in that first half also. So six goals out of the nine coming from former Adelaide players. Back in the centre. Madden wins the tap. Brown for Carlton, Brown for Adelaide, Bradley again, but the whistle's gone, and it's to be a free kick to the Crows, coming to Liptak. Craig Bradley, three times best and fairest at Port Adelaide, and twice best and fairest at Carlton. Liptak, kick up short of centre-half forward. Sexton wrestles with his opponent, gets it down to Gleeson. Round the corner he goes to centre wing, Heaver interfered with, and he'll take a free kick. Very good across half-back, Carlton, with Michael Sexton, Milhanna doing fantastic jobs there on their respective opponents. Kick went over the head of Gleeson. Athorn goes blindly. Comes to Spalding by some miracle. Long kick, Kernahan! A bit of a nosedive there, Steve Kernahan, but a great attempt to mark, diving mark from the big fellow. Spit out a bit of the uh, <laughs> Waverley Park turf. Here we see again a hand pass. Bradley there again involved. Big Earl Spalding, a hurry kick. Kernahan getting out, taking a diving mark and getting a mouthful of the Waverley turf. Kernahan lining up for his third goal. The crowd here today, 59,233. So last week's final at Waverley was just 29,000. An interstate team and it drew 59,000 today. Great performance and many Adelaide fans have come over. Mixed emotions in Adelaide, no doubt, with Kernahan, their hero, lining up to bury them. And Kernahan might have missed it. Don't tell me. Two goals, two. Shrug of the shoulders from that Carlton fan. They wouldn't be safe yet. They lead by 16 points. On the Seven Sports scoreboard. 9-8 to 5-16. McDermott to bring it in. 20 possessions this afternoon for him. There's Anderson. That will be ignored. He virtually comes straight down the middle. Wren's up in front, and that's a very good mark, considering the height of the opposition. The way to McGuinness, who runs away from half-back, chips it out wide. Maynard has to stretch, goes down and gets it. Now Visca is on down the ground. Visca can take it and go. He hesitates momentarily, kicks for space, coming up on the lead, Tasker. That was a very good kick by Visca. Oh, that was spot on, wasn't it? It had to be perfect, Dennis, and it was. Sean Tasker on the lead. I do prefer him in the forward line to Big Randall Bone, mainly because of, it, because of his mobility, Sean Tasker. Very important kick, this one. The margin is 16 points. This to pull it back to 10. Hasn't got the carry, not quite. Three Carlton players in defence and in triplicate. They push it across the line. Well, Tasker, I'm not kidding, he must have had about seven shots at goal for two behinds. And about five of them have been rushed through like that one. Ratton into McKay. Straight up the centre. Spalding is there. It's punched down well by Rusciuto. Goes to Maynard. Anderson. Crows moving it well into the breeze. Anderson to full forward. Modra caught behind. Silvani can't mark. Off hands it goes to Ratton. Ratton out towards half back flank. Maynard. Fitness will be a telling factor here. The fact that Adelaide played last Sunday and had just six days to recover. Carlton played Saturday night. Six and a half days to recover. I wonder whether it'll make a difference. I don't think we'll uh, read much into that, Drew. I don't think it'll make much difference. 
Well, they both played at the MCG, which wouldn't have taken as much out of them as a game here at Waverley. But... Leeson down towards half forward, awkward bounce. Visca gets back first. Maynard. Now McDermott away from half back towards midfield. Wigney held without it. He'll get the free kick. Advantage will not be paid. Here's Wigney. Two early goals. Their only goal still half time. Kicks inside the 50. Tasker gave a contest. Knocked down by Smart. Tasker again. McGuinness sends Liptak into space. He's dragged down. And like a soccer goalkeeper, Silvani stopped it. He boots it towards the other side. It will run out of bounds in front of McKay. Well, another metre in elevation on that kick. It would have been a goal. And or Modra would have marked. David Kernahan looks on. Mainly here because of the great effort from Matthew Hogg causing Liptak to kick that ball low. A desperate attempt by Matthew Hogg getting to Liptak. That and heroic performance by Steve Silvani, just the same. On the 50 it is. McGuinness like a terrier. Gets it out to Wren. Wren feeds a good hand pass to Jarman. He's got Brown on, but he goes for goal. Won't make it. Silvani again. Oh, has he flogged Modric? Silvani, the kick bounces. This is dangerous for Hall. On the bounce, Alvin takes it. Won a reprieve off the interchange bench. Spalding He's to Christou. He can go like a stall gift runner. Ange Christou off the left boot. Kernahan the chance. Pushed Three. out. Must be a free to Kernahan. Advantage. It goes to Heaver. Open goal coming up for Heaver. And now Bradley, who kicks number five. It'll be tough for the Crows now. to 5-17-47. There's a margin now up to 21 points and you would think in a low scoring game that it will be very tough now for the Adelaide Crows to get back into this match. We see the advantage there paid and Heaver second on the goal kicking list this year to Steve Kernahan getting that hand pass away to Bradley. Five goals in this second half. On the seven sports scoreboard Carlton lead by 21 points, a heartbreaker for the Crows, did a lot of the attacking, and Carlton swept down the ground to kick one, a very important one. Anderson boots it out wide, McGuinness leads in the race. Away he comes then, Tony McGuinness, running towards half forward, spears the pass down towards Modra. He's got it right on the 50. The man standing the mark has been superb today, Stephen Silvani. And again he comes into play, well he can do no wrong, Modra slipped over. And Silvani was struck by the ball, almost an involuntary action, and it went out of bounds. Oh, that just about sums up Tony Modra's yeah. day, doesn't it? He's had a dirty day playing at Phil Ford. Very quiet last week also playing on Chris Langford. Oh, Silvani's been a celebrated name in the history of Carlton appearances and finals, and the legend lives on. Jarman, who's been terrific to Brown. Down towards full forward, Tasker, in the role of a spoiler, reaches over the top and punches one of his own behinds. And I tell you what, Dennis, his look-alike in the back pocket hasn't been too bad today. Steve Silvani's look-alike, Ange Christou. Quite a terrific game. And there's Serge Silvani. He'd be pretty happy with his son's performance here this afternoon at Waverley. Yes, Greece and Italy combining to beat Adelaide. Here's Gleeson. Long kick, short of centre wing. Welsh and Sexton nearly bowl each other over. They're both down. Bradley has been magnificent. Bumbles a kick along the ground to half forward. Maynard leads Spalding. Well done by Maynard. Injured mid-season, came back. He was a spectator last week, but forced his way in today. Now here's McDermott, the skipper. Gleason up high. It comes to Rusciuto. Bounced off his face, actually, to Bradley. Oh. Bradley. Oh, Rusciuto got a smother in, and Bradley said, well done, son. Yeah. That is terrific. Yeah, it was a great effort, wasn't it? Mark Rusciuto, he's been great this afternoon. Terrific across halfback all year. Oh, the Crows in trouble, but they've been gallant this afternoon. You can't write them off in this game or in the overall. This is Hogg. Away to Brown, to Gleeson. And the Blues now string it together. Run down by Tregenza. Isn't that magnificent? Fantastic. And the ball's out of bounds. Heaver and Maynard pushing it across. Well, it's been a tough uncompromising game this one Tregenza after that chase Mark Micken a former best and fairest winner for the Adelaide Crows their first ever McGuinness thumps it on Tregenza's got the run of it confronted by Bradley and Bradley takes the ball across the line still about 16 minutes to go 
but Carlton doing well enough. They're finishing on the breeze. It's overcast now at Waverley. In stark contrast to the sunshine of earlier in the day, Wren works his way in front. Athorn fumbles. Liptak took him down. Madden sockers towards the boundary line. Bickley does likewise. It's out of bounds again. The clock continues to run. Quiet. Another throw in. Quiet for Bickley. 15 possessions. Mike Fitzpatrick, dual premiership captain for the Blues. 81 and 82. Free kick, kick to Sean Ring. No, a Madden. shepherding free kick. Well, it goes to Brown way. from Madden. The kick misses the forward. Goes to Visca. Left footer by Visca. Short of centre wing. Brown. Sweeps the hand pass in. Maynard full of running. The kick by Maynard to centre half forward. Modra in front this time. And takes the mark. See, they won't give it away, will they? Six marks to Modra. He's had just seven kicks for two goals. The distance might test here, Drew, if the breeze has strengthened. Yeah, it's a tough kick. 52 metres out. Hooked it. And another rush behind. Well, I'm running out of ink here. Let's count them. Two, four, six, eight, ten. That was eight, intentional. Ten. That was intentional, too. I mean, Sexton punching the ball backwards there. It's obviously something they work on diligently at Carlton. Well, again, they've ten only, Ian rushes. only added the three rush behinds to their three-quarter time score out of late, so they haven't had a score off the boot in this last quarter. Presto gives it the boot straight down the middle. Wren from behind, knocked on by Madden, and again by Hogg, Hadley. Ratton's got it to Williams. Williams forced to kick wide, good pressure from McGuinness. It affected the kick and the ball will run out of bounds on the wing. So a throw in. Just over 14 minutes till full time. David Parkin can sent it now. He can feel a grand final. That young man, all eyes for this finish. But the Crows will need something special. Wren worked out of it. Jarman, great second half, was pushed in the back. No free kick. Brown on his knees. Williams, clever. Gets it across to McKay. Gets the kick off towards half forward. Working his way in front, Rusciuto. It falls behind. Visca in the grasp. Rusciuto only as far as Brown. Carlton keep their composure. Kernahan should have got it free. He's taken the mark in any case. Oh, terrific. Yes, he's a terrific player, Steve Kernahan. Playing it full forward on big David Pittman here this afternoon. Pittman's done a reasonable job. Although Kernahan has kicked two goals. Now this could shut the door completely for the Adelaide Crows if their task wasn't hard enough already. There's a oh. terrific grab by Kernahan. What can the champ do? Kicks and kicks crawling. Kernahan gets his third and Carlton now stretch their lead. It's interesting, the two full forwards have identical stats. Modra and Kernahan, both six marks and eight kicks. Difference, Kernahan three goals and Modra two. There's body on body there, Steve Kernahan doing it very nicely. A great kick for goal, five goals to Bradley, three goals to Steve Kernahan. Very dark now here at Waverley with 13 minutes left. It'll have to be a fabulous finish by the Crows to get up and win this. Williams takes it out of the middle, drives it towards the 50, very wide for Kernahan. In fact, way too wide, and it bounces out of bounds. Scoreboard lights shining brightly, showing 74 to 49 in favour of Carlton. They came into today as favourites for the game, favourites for the flag, and they'll go straight to the grand final. They've missed the last four final series. Court. Which is just not good enough at Carlton. Williams gets a hand pass, but it's taken by McDermott. His kick up towards centre wing. Chase on for the ball. Sexton leading. Wiedemann stumbles. Sexton gets one high, gets a second high, and will take a free kick. This Carlton half back line has been fantastic. McKay, Sexton, and Hannah have shut their opponents right out of the game. I believe the lights on are here, here now. We actually can't see the light stands from here, but the emergency on. umpire racing out too, Drew. There's a bit of a blue one over there with Wiedemann. Well, even for the loser, you don't want to get reported in this because there's a preliminary final next week with a, another oh. chance to get into a grand final. So exactly. nobody wants to go into the book. 
Wiedemann's been pretty quiet since that early uh, start to the game. Very busy in that first quarter when he got a lot of the ball, but Andrew McKay's got right on top of him. 11 minutes 40 to go, and the margin is 25 points in favour of Cup. Here's Brown, down towards half forward, Wren in front, up he goes. The crumbs to McGuinness. Smart, back to McGuinness, close to the boundary line, runs to the 50. This could be a good goal. He's missed to the near side. McGuinness still running. 26 possessions for him. At the margin, 24 points. Silvani and Bradley will dispute the honour of man of the match. Silvani got it to Hannah, who goes short to Alvin. We had all sorts of problems with Tregenza at the start of this game. Alvin just up from the back pocket. Very gloomy now, despite the lights being on as the kick comes towards the wing. Off hands Bradley. He just keeps going like his opposite number, McGuinness. Brilliantly done by Welsh to paddle it back towards Bradley. Bradley kicks inside the 50. Kernahan wedged to him there by Pittman, who did well in a tight situation. Bickley's hand pass. Rusciuto got it on McDermott. Now Visca. Visca storms away from half back. Boots it down towards half court. Great courage by Hogg. Matthew Hogg towards the centre of the ground of Welsh. They started the game on the interchange bench. The Blues will have a week off to prepare for the grand final. At the end of this season, that'll be something. And at the end of this game at Waverley, you'll need a rest, especially players like Williams. Athorn breaks clear, just gets boot to ball. Brown's still running hard, but Bickley's back there to take the mark. He wants to go on with it, he's cornered. Gets the hand pass away. Rusciuto, what a game from this teenager. Centre wing. Wiedemann can't mark in front and K. <laughs> His stats are pretty good, Drew, too. Five marks, 17 kicks oh. and two hand passes. And now a 50-metre penalty being awarded against Wiedemann. That's very tough because Wiedemann was slapped above the right ear. He was making the point and arguing the case. He got 50. Slapped on him in turn. So a couple of uh, slaps that, there for Wiedemann. This bloke here, Andrew McKay, recruited the year in my book. He's been great for Carlton across halfback. He's played in every game along with... Five other Carlton players, Heaver, Tommy Elvin, Fraser Brown, Greg Williams and Michael Sexton. And now McKay for goal. It's flat, it's shepherded it through. McKay gets his first goal. 80 plays 50, the Blues are in the grand final. Yes, they're well and truly home now. The signs weren't good for Adelaide in that third quarter. And we see a little slap around the ear by Kernahan on Wiedemann. <laughs> I, still, I don't suppose it entitles you to hang on for that long way, Dennis. Well, I think he was confused there, Wiedemann, and conceded the 50, having been slapped by Kernahan. The ball comes out towards the wing. Liptak keeps it in front, paddles it towards the boundary line. Tries to go back inside and does successfully. Anderson threads it to Jarman, to McGuinness. So the question now for the Crows, can they regroup? Probing kick inside the 50. Christo goes back. What a terrific game he's played. And guess who? Silvani to Hanna. Three of their best, although Hanna fumbles this time. Gives it away in effect. Tasker back to goal, but he can make something here. Turns, kicks, and for one of the few times hasn't seen his kick touched on the line. It's a goal. Too little, too late for the Adelaide Pros. 6.20, that's right. 20 behinds this afternoon to 12.8. Yes, but 10 of those behinds, Dennis, have been rush behinds. As we have a look at this in replay, about the first mistake the Carlton defence has made all afternoon. Ordinary hand pass coming from Christo to Silvani to Hanna. I'm not too sure how Hanna got rid of the ball. I think he threw that out anyway. The turnover resulted in that goal to Sean Tasker. Eight and a half minutes left. Athorn can't get a disposal. Wiedemann oh, somehow gets it out of the middle. Up towards the 50. Sexton, fingertip control. Back to centre wing. McGuinness had it spent before he got it. Left it behind for Hogg. Hogg up towards centre half forward. Spalding! Off hands to Welsh. Now Williams charges to the 50. Gives off the hand pass. It's Heaver right in front. Another one. 
Fred Heaver gets his second. Was there any doubt? Five goal margin again. And 47 goals now for the season for Brent Heaver. He's done remarkably well since Molly Matty's debut with Melbourne. Went to Epping for a while and was picked up by Carlton in the March draft. And there is that goal from Brent Heaver. It's all run now for Carlton. It's been a terrific last term. And a free kick here spotted by the umpire and going to Sean Wren. Centre square in front against there. Mark Athorn, I think it was again. Rashudo kicks it down inside the 50. Back goes Hannah. Makes another mistake. Well, he hasn't finished as well as he started. He's paddling it towards the boundary, anxious to redeem himself. He gave it away. Smart gets it to Anderson. Vacant goal. He goes long and Tasca, the only man down there, drifts into the square. In 50 metres. Take him back to the goal line, surely. And get the angle right. Get the 50. You're straight in front. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not well, that it'll make much difference, I don't think, in the long run, because Tasker shouldn't miss this one. Several coaches have had terrific seasons, but none more so than David Parker. The Blues have come from seventh. They're in the grand final despite this kick from Sean Tasker. Seven twenty to thirteen eight. There's two belated goals here to Sean Tasker in this final quarter for the Adelaide Crows. Mill Hannah just, uh, well, a couple of late mistakes in the game, but he's played a terrific game. Kept Nigel Smart right out of business there. That turnover costly. Sean Tusker taking that easy chest mark right in the goal square. In this last quarter, Carlton have kicked five goals, one to the Crows, two, four. But they've kicked two out of the last three. And... Uh, well, three the goals are starting to come a bit quicker now. Yeah, it's sorry, starting Drew. to open up. Three of those behinds, though, Drew, coming from uh, a rush behinds. And the player's getting tired, aren't they? It's hard for defenders to cover now. So the point about that is, there's seven minutes left and they're four goals behind. I wouldn't just be getting into the traffic just yet. They go forward again out of the middle. Well, he's been tremendous, Trigenza. It bounces up to the forward line. Two plays, two. Chris do the first there. And his man has kicked the last couple of goals for Adelaide. Tasker, centre wing, Jarman, paddles. Wren gets it on. The ball to the 50. Hannah spoils smart. Comes to the front. Ratton, the hand pass to Williams. And he's got time for a cut lunch out here before he picks up. Pick the best option. Gee, they're tired. Very slow to approach him. If you can't catch Greg Williams, you're not going too well. <laughs> There's Madden, who's played a pretty good game. Good duel that one here in Wren on the Fraser Brown. Williams, 28 possessions. Brown inside the 50. Kernahan again in front. Could have almost got a free again, too. He props. He's very hard to get around. Ball is tied up and a baller. Clock continues to run inside the last six minutes of this game. So tomorrow it's the West Coast Eagles and Essendon decide who will play in the preliminary final against it would seem the Adelaide Crows free kick down there Pittman to take it but they do keep on coming the Crows Pittman out of defense time is their enemy now of course ran up in front fisted away by Madden well done by Athorn Athorn about 70 meters out the kicks a shocker and bounces out of bounds down there in the pocket but Still, time is being consumed. Of course, this will change next season. And I think that's terrific. The clock would have been stopped in this situation. Shorter quarters, but as it is, you can see, we're down to 5.13. Yes, the wear and tear on the body at the pace of modern-day football is immense. Hand pass comes out to Bickley. He goes on to the skipper, McDermott. Really pitch dark here. <laughs> Didn't touch that one down. Up towards centre wing. Wiedemann. McKay! He went the punch, nearly took the mark. Athorn, dragged down by Brown. Umpire will ball it up. Acrobatic effort there by Andrew McKay. Four and a half minutes left. Four goals the margin, Carlton in front. Bradley sensational after half time with his five goals. Tregenza, support from Rusciuto, back to, to, to Tregenza. Brown, 
Marks in front of Ratton. Dragged down after he took the mark. And they're really trying to hold them up now, the Blues. The kick by Brown towards the 50. Williams says, who's going to help me? <laughs> he had to look around, didn't he? <laughs> he couldn't believe that he was there by himself to take that mark. Bradley in open space. Great Bradley. His 25th possession is a short pass. He gets it to Ratton. And now the sting has gone out of this game. Ratton comes back to Bradley. The umbrella's going up. Bradley goes to Gleeson. I suppose these Crows fans have got a choice to make. Do they come over next week for the preliminary final or save the money and hope for the grand final? Yeah, tough decision, Bickley. I thought you were going to say stay here. I'm going to say it's at the MCG. McGuinness gets it across to Bickley. Bickley breaks away. Jarman, what a second half he's had. Jarman, 26 possessions now. Smart on the lead. He'll need to do better next week. Liptak likewise. Dragenza, who's been terrific all day. Modra. Modra in front of Silvani, and Silvani's got him again. We'll have nightmares about Silvani tonight, Modra. Alvin towards the wing, and Williams. Aided by the gloom, I think, he's getting away. Under the cover of darkness, Williams tracks that one across the boundary line. It was almost another possession. Another pat on the back there for Steve Silvani from Ange Christou. Great games to Steve Silvani playing on Modra. It certainly is a different game played at the big venues. And they don't get any bigger than this, although we had a look at the uh, dimensions of Cadinia Park, and it matches it. But you can get spaces, as Greg Williams has found, about three times in this last quarter. Ball back out of play. The rain gets heavier. It's dark. It's wet. It's gloomy for the Crows. They'll have to regroup and come back next week for the preliminary final at the MCG. That was cloud cam, I think. Yeah, that was right up there in the stratosphere. The rain will be sweet on the lips of these Carlton players. And uh, what a job. Only six survivors of the 1987 Premiership. It wasn't all that long ago, but two-thirds of a team have passed on. Silvani, Bradley, Kernahan, Madden, Gleeson and Alvin are back from that 87 Premiership. again. Strange scene. The rain arriving late amidst these celebrations. Certainly by the Carlton supporters. Wren's in there. Jarman again. Dragged off it. Lip tack. Quick hands away to McGuinness. Wiedemann tumbling down. Got it to McDermott. Away to Bickley. Bickley towards half forward. Wigney is there. Sexton does well. Heaver off the ground towards half forward. Williams. Still he goes, Williams. Paddles it out wide to Heaver. Brilliant stuff. Despite the scoreboard, still players giving their all. Rusciuto to Jarman again. Jarman up through the middle. Kicks inside the 50. Tasker props in front. Where's Silvani? Silvani slaps it out. Lip tax got it, though. Kicks and kicks truly. Just over a minute to go. And the Crows pull closer. It's 18 points the difference. Yes, that's the tack's first goal for the afternoon. He could three last week against Hawthorne. Over the top, as Dennis has said, Jarman has come right into the match in this second half. Christou up high. Slap away by Silvani. The players stayed off the tack there thinking he was going to hand pass. Instead, kicked the goal himself. He's a very good player, Matthew. The tack not quite as effective this afternoon as he was last week. In the middle with a minute remaining. Bounce favours Wren. Chance to find McDermott. McGuinness. They might get another one. And a 12-point defeat will be no disgrace. Smart in front. Brown just overruns it. Ratton is there for Carlton. He's over the top of it. That spills out. Wiedemann. Still to the chance of weed, weed. Aethorn the hand pass to Bradley. A hero, especially in the third quarter. Kicked by Bradley close to the boundary line. Everyone hopes it goes out. Well, except Welsh, who kept it alive to Williams. <laughs> Williams off the ground. Pushed McDermott into it. And McDermott will take the free kick. One of the last kicks of the game. In fact, he goes by hand. Rusciuto has been magnificent for the Crows. One of their best. In fact, he's my best, bro. Fisker. Eight seconds left. 
kick by Visco up towards centre wing. Spalding in front, a wet ball, a good mark. The Blues are in the grand final, and the Crows will have to come back again next week. They started today as premiership favourites. With a week's break, they'll shorten in the mark. In the second semi-final, Carlton are home on the Seven Sports scoreboard, 13-8-86. The Adelaide Pros, 8-20-68, 18 points.